Good morning. This morning we're going to be looking at the gift of tongues and prophecy. And I want to begin by reading the first scripture listed in your one-to-one, -one, and that is 1 Corinthians 14, verse 1 to 3. And it says, follow the way of love and eagerly desire spiritual gifts, especially the gift of prophecy. For anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but speaks to God. Indeed, no one understands him. He utters mysteries with his spirit. But everyone who prophesies speaks to men for their strengthening, encouragement, and comfort. Now, there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, of which speaking in tongues and prophecy are only two. But both of those are there in order to edify and encourage. Speaking in tongues is there to edify yourself. And prophecy is edifying and building up the church. And that is why Paul says, desire prophecy more than any of the other gifts. Because prophecy is outward focused. And prophecy is speaking the heart of God to the church or to someone that you are praying for or ministering to. That does not minimize tongues and it does not minimize the blessing and the gift that praying in tongues is for us. When we pray in tongues, our mind is not engaged. It doesn't mean our mind is empty. It's not like meditation in the traditional sense of it, in the, in the Eastern religion sense of it, where you empty your mind. No, our mind is awake and our mind is focused on God. But we are speaking in a language that we do not understand. But our spirit is speaking directly to God. Our spirit is communicating with God. And what this does is it builds us up and it edifies us and it encourages us. And there are times where we don't know what to pray. Where when we pray in tongues, the spirit prays on our behalf. What a beautiful gift. But remember that when we're in a group, when we're in a crowd, when we're in church, and we're praying in tongues, unless someone interprets it, it doesn't benefit the group. And that is what Paul is warning about when he speaks about one Corinth when he speaks in 1 Corinthians 14, 39, he says, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, be eager to prophesy, and do not forbid speaking in tongues, but everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. When God speaks to us through his spirit, he wants everyone present to understand what he is saying. Otherwise, what is the point? What is the point of God giving me a message and I just pray it in my own tongue and I keep it to myself and no one else understands? And that's the beauty of interpreting tongues and the beauty of prophecy. It's God speaking to us in order for the church to be edified and to be encouraged. So I want to encourage you this morning. Seek the gifts. Seek the gifts of the Spirit eagerly, especially prophecy. But seek speaking in tongues in order to edify yourself and strengthen yourself in this beautiful gift that the Lord has given us. Have a great day.